Well, summer is beginning to dwindle down, but that doesn't mean the heat is gone. And high school football players starting practice this week are already working on staying hydrated. Jenna James joins us now live with how schools are doing their best to keep students safe in this heat. Jenna, good morning. Good morning, Dave. As you and I both know, a fall in Nebraska can be any type of weather, including scorching heat and a very hot sun. It's why keeping football players safe in the heat is a top priority for Metro athletic trainers. And actually, there is a new state law in place to try to ease players into the heat of the football season. So the first two days of practice, students will wear helmets only. Then the next two days, it will move to helmets and shoulder pads only. And then by the sixth day is when they can actually get into full gear. Before that it actually took only three days before they could get to that point. I think it's a good thing so far. You know, it kind of lets our kids get used to it and then they're ready to go when the heat gets really bad, hopefully. And schools around the metro also have policies in place for things like frequent water breaks, deciding when to practice in full pads and when to move to grass instead of being on the turf. But if students really want to avoid heat exhaustion and cramping and things like that, I'm told they need to start hydrating long before they ever step foot onto the field. Coming up in the next half hour, the most common injuries that athletic trainers see. Reporting live, Jenna Janes, WWT 6 News.